Hello, hello, dear viewers. I'm Chornet again. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you metal and wooden outdoor bench design ideas. This video contains a collection of metal and wood outdoor bench design ideas which you can easily copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And also like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. If you are if you are already a subscribed member, as always, like and share the video. A bench is a long seat on which multiple people may sit at the same time. Benches are typically made of wood, but may also be made of metal. Some are made of stone or synthetic materials. Many benches have arms and backrests. Some have no backrest and can be sat on from either side. Bench is a long seat that may be freestanding, fixed to the wall, or placed against the wall. Panel benches were used by the Romans and they were the most common form of sitting in medieval halls as a time when a chair was a rare luxury reserved for those of high status. Benches were not only used as a seat but were normally wide enough to be used for sleeping on or eating from. Benches retain their popularity as fitted seats in window alcoves, but in the 16th century they lost favor as freestanding pieces of furniture when chairs became more widely used. Upholstered versions were also made. Some of the most spectacular benches were made in the Spanish colonies in South America in the 17th century, notably in Cusco, Peru, where benches bore enormous carved crestings and balustraded backs that were painted and gilded. Often, benches are simply named for the place they are used, regardless of whether this implies a specific design. Park benches are set as sitting places within public parks and vary in the number of people they can sit. Garden benches are similar to public park benches but are longer and offer more sitting places. Picnic tables or catering buffet tables have long benches as well as a table. These tables may have table legs which are collapsible in order to expedite transport and storage. Scenic benches are situated to provide a comfortable means of enjoying and contemplation of a beautiful landscape, a busy street scene, or perhaps a specific event. Perk benches are usually situated in high traffic areas to enable people to take a quick break. A storage bench is a combination of sitting space and a storage box, often used for keeping gardening supplies or grill equipment. A foam is a backless bench that was used for sitting in dining rooms, school rooms, and low courts, can be leather or upholstered fabric with or without a backrest. Various types of benches are specifically designed for an for end or named after specific uses, such as church benches and pews inside places of worship, which are sometimes equipped with an additional kneeling bench. Church benches and pews can come in various styles, including traditional, modern, and curved, to match and complement the architectural styles and the spaces of places of worship. A bench seat is a traditional seat installed in automobiles, 
featuring a continuous pad running the full width of the cabin. A punishment bench is used to have a punishi lie and often be tied down on for the administration of a corporal punishment after which it may be specifically named. A bench weight training for weight training is used for fitness exercises such as bench press which is named after it is used as a bench. A communion bench is not used as a seat. A piano bench offers usually one person sitting. A spanking bench such as a cunning bench is specifically designed for a spanky to lie upon, possibly stranded down while submitting to painting of the posterior. Bench materials. Benches come in a variety of different materials, but there are some venue standards that account for use, durability, and maintenance patterns. Aluminum. Aluminum benches are often found in in outdoor sideline settings at recreational venues like sport fields or courts and as a complement to bleacher systems. The material affords for a lightweight, corrosive-free bench, so it is a portable and economical option for indoor and outdoor settings. Concrete Concrete benches are very heavy and are a more permanent furnishings. They are often installed in facilities that are not expected to change or transition often, if at all, such as military bases, state parks and official buildings. Concrete is very durable, so it is appropriate for any climate. Concrete can be composed of many different materials to afford benches different accents, depending on what is what it is composed of. Fiberglass. Fiberglass is a versatile material so fiberglass benches can come in a variety of designs and finishes or colors. The material is great for indoor and outdoor use because it will not corrode or rust. It is very low maintenance and can be manufactured to complement any facility. Common places where fiberglass benches are installed include food courts, restaurants, and office buildings. Powder-coated steel Powder-coated steel benches are often found lining entryways for different venues like retail centers, medical facilities, and country clubs. While powder coat is a common finish on any commercial site furnishings, it's often featured on a strap metal bench because of its anti-corrosive qualities and ability to strong bond to heavy-duty steel constructions. Powder-coated benches also come in a variety of colors and designs, from classic strap metal benches to extremely intricate designs. Recycled Plastic Recycled plastic bench are low maintenance, available in a variety of colors and styles, and are appropriate for any environment, including typically corrosive salty ocean side facilities. Recycled plastic components can vary based on the manufacturer, but it is commonplace that a high percentage is post consumer material and will contribute to LEED certification. For these reasons, they are commonly found at a wide range of venues, including convention centers, office buildings, universities, retail centers, schools, and stadiums. Thermoplastic 
Thermoplastic is an environmentally friendly coating for metal bins. Thermoplastic bins are very commonplace, located in facilities ranging from schools, parks, recreational spaces and office buildings. The material itself is graphite resistant and easily repairable as opposed to other metal coatings and with a thorough coat will help a metal bench withstand a variety of climates. There are endless color options and six different common pattern styles. Expanded metal, perforated metal, a strap style, welded wire, diamond pattern and road style. Expanded metal is often seen on casual park settings, featuring a lattice-like look while strap style can be commonly featured trail side on embellishing a sidewalk. Wood Wood benches are a very high maintenance option because they need to be regularly treated with an insect repellent or coated with a polyurethane or similar coating to maximize the life of the material. They are typically found along walking trails and state parks, while high quality wood products like teak, redwood and mahogany are commonly found in residential, furniture lines, resorts and restaurant settings. Other common lumber furnishing materials include oak and southern yellow pine. When you come back to metal furniture, metal furniture is a type of furniture that uses metal in its construction. There are various types of metal that can be used, such as iron, carbon steel, aluminum, and stainless steel. Iron and steel products are extensively used in many applications, ranging from office furnishings to outdoor settings. Cast iron is used mainly for outdoor finishings and settings, such as those used for bench legs and solid iron tables. It is suited to outdoor use due to its hardness, heaviness, and general tough composition. The main disadvantage to this is that it being a, re a, re a relatively pure form of iron is subjected to corrosion at the hands of moisture and air. Stellar steel is used very extensively for most modern interior furnishings involving metal. Many hinge, slides, supports and body pieces are composed of stainless steel. It has a high tensile strength allowing it to be applied using hollow tubes, reducing weight and increasing user accessibility. Aluminum is a light and corrosion resistant metal and to take advantage of these qualities it is heavily utilized for stamped and cast furniture especially in the category of molded chairs aluminum atoms form an outer layer of aluminum oxide which prevents the internal aluminum from being corroded metal furniture is a popular choice of furnishing especially used outdoors for decks and patios. However, metal furniture can also be used indoors, such as brass beds, brass tables, iron bakers, racks, and metal curio cabinets. Besides being sturdy, metal furniture is attractive, giving a contemporary look to your home. To make it stand out, all it takes is a good polishing to give it added charm and character. When we look at the benefits of metal furniture, durability is the main advantage of metal furniture. For example, not many types of non-metal furniture can remain outside during winter and is still good when spring arrives. If cared for properly, 
Metal furniture can last up to 30 years. Because most metal furniture is treated for rust and heat resistance, it doesn't need much maintenance. When we look at types of metals, some of them are discussed above. Usually metal furniture is made from either steel or aluminum. To tell aluminum from steel, place a magnet on a metal surface and if it is steel, it will stick. Steel furniture is typically pricier when it is used as furniture. When the price varying with the price varying according to the type of metal and thickness. However, it is hard to identify it after a finish is applied. Steel has low, medium or high carbon, with most fatal metal furniture being made with low carbon because it is cheaper than high grade of carbon. Stainless steel is good for low maintenance. Made of an alloy of carbon, iron and other metals, its main reason for its strength is because of chromium which protects us from rust and corrosion because of its thin film of oxide on the surface. Wrought iron is good for garden furniture, providing a classic look. However, it is heavy, which is a challenge, but appreciated on windy days. It needs much care though, and can easily rust and corrode if not waterproofed. Aluminum is more common than steel furniture, mostly because it does not rust, although it oxidizes, turning into a chalky white. It is also lighter than steel, making it more desirable. Cast and heavy tube aluminum give better quality. Aluminum has to be thicker than steel if it is to have as much strength. Tubular aluminum is flexible and hollowing, besides less sturdy. However, its lightness marks for an ideal poolside furniture and is mainly used for benches, folding chairs, and swing sets. When we look at the type of finishes you can apply on metal and wood furniture, choosing the right finish for metal furniture is important because of its durability. Some of the most common finishes include chrome plating, PVDF, plastic, painted, brass and adonized finishes. Chrome plating, although durable, is thin and if damaged where it is exposed to air, scratches can rust. Plastic coated finishes are synthetically made and good as they prevent rusting or the metal changing color from air exposure. Although they are as strong as painted finishes, they do not hold up as well as electroplated finishes. Paint finishes are for both steel and aluminum furniture, although it easily scratches and rusts. Brass plating, which is an electroplated finish, is applied in a bath and is durable. Solid brass is both pricey and rare. To decide if a finish is solid brass, put a magnet on the furniture and if it clings, it is made of brass plated steel. Iron in the steel is magnetic. Brass is made from copper and zinc two metals that are prone to corrosion from exposure to salty water or air. Brass finishes should be oiled or clear coated with polyurethane or similar material to make a barrier from air and water to prevent corrosion. Corrosion is slowed when a surface is already oxidized. For example, aluminum is very hard to weld because of it is persistent aluminum oxide layer. This prevents access to the bare metal. Anodized finishes are used on aluminum furniture to increase the thickness of the aluminum oxide layer, creating a thicker barrier between the atmosphere and aluminum base. Considerations When selecting metal furniture, consider coat and finish, ensuring 
The surface is either power coated or electroplated. Also consider your climate. For example, if you live in a rainy area, you will want furniture with heavy waterproofing and light enough to carry indoors. For hot climates, consider that aluminum retains heat, so you cannot use it until it cools down. Regarding some misconceptions on metal furniture, often people consider metal furniture with being uncomfortable, as imagines, images of metal conjure up cold, hard-backed chairs as well as cold, shiny surfaces. However, it is easy to add cushions and upholstery to make the furniture comfortable as well as attractive. Also adding some simple curves also adds to comfort as many types of metal furniture manufacturers have done. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of metal and wood outdoor bench design ideas for your inspiration. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.